What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys five tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, so this first tweak that I have for you is a free tweak called Violet. Basically what it allows you to do is set your wallpaper as whatever song you're listening to. So to change it to the album art. So if we go into Spotify, you can tell that that is the album art. It also changes your lock screen to the album art. And as you change songs, it will also change the wallpaper on your device, whether it be the home screen or the lock screen. So if we go ahead and hop into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and set it up. I use Spotify, so I have been enabled for Spotify. You can go ahead and adjust the blur amount and the opacity. You can also do a custom setting for the lock screen and the home screen. So I set the blur amount to about 50%. I just feel it looks a lot better when it's a little slightly blurred out. On the lock screen, it has zero blur at all. But you can go ahead and adjust a bunch of different settings to make it look absolutely amazing. So anyways, guys, that one is a quick free tweak called Violet. Go ahead and check it out. This next one I have for you guys is called Cinemo, Cinemo, John Cinemo. Name is John Cinemo! Anyways guys, what this allows you to do is it basically turns your dock into a battery percentage indicator. So as you can see, my dock is kind of half full right now because I have 54% battery. So there's basically a couple different customizations here. So the default colors, so if it's charging green, low battery, low power mode, you can adjust the colors to whatever it is that you would like. I kind of want it to be more green. So we'll go ahead and tab respring. All right, now you can see at the bottom of my dock that it is now green. I can understand that some people probably won't like this tweak because it just doesn't look uniform on your device, but I think it's actually pretty useful, pretty unique tweak. Anyways, guys, that one is called Cinemo, and it is 100% free. So this next tweak that I have for you guys is called Comet. Basically what it is, is it's kind of like an iOS 14 widget, except you can have this widget anywhere on your device. You can go ahead and move it around anywhere you want on your device. It behaves like a stacked widget from iOS, so you can go ahead and scroll through all of the different things that you have set up for Comet. So it can come in handy if you just need a quick glance at something like your Wi-Fi or whatever, if you're in an application and you need to see something or you wanna see how much storage you have. Also, if you tap on it, it is interactive, so it will take me to the storage. If we go over to the battery, it will take me over to the battery so I can check the battery health. But if we go ahead and jump into the settings of this tweak, and see that there is a tutorial to kind of help you guys set up exactly how you want it to look. So if we go over to customize comment, I prefer adaptive even though I'm in dark mode most of the time, but it can be color based. So if you go right here, you can go ahead and add some modules. These are the modules that I have added. You can also kind of customize what they look like. You can make multiple customizations to each individual stack but it's just a clean, simple tweak that kind of gives you the stacked widgets from iOS 14. It is a paid tweak, but be sure to go ahead and check it out. All right, this next tweak just brings back the iOS 9 look and feel from the slide to unlock. You can just go ahead and slide over. It will unlock normally. It's just a quick, simple little tweak called nine unlock. It just brings back the slide to unlock feature. You can still swipe up to unlock if you would like. There aren't any settings to configure. Like I said, just a quick, simple tweak to bring back the old slide to unlock text. And this last tweak that I have for you is actually pretty cool. It's called Noti Fill. Basically what it does is it is a active timer to show you how long your notification is going to be there. So let me go ahead and show you an example. So if we go ahead and test the banner, you can see that there is a little loading bar that goes across the whole notification. And once the loading bar reaches the end, the notification disappears. Kind of gives you a little bit of indication of how long the notification is going to be there. It's just a super simple, neat little tweak that I find kind of useful. I know I catch myself 
wanting to respond to a text but I'm in the middle of doing something else so this kind of gives you a time frame of how long you have to hurry and pull down that notification once again this one is called noti fill there aren't too many settings to configure I leave it completely stock it works perfectly fine so go ahead and check out this tweak all right guys that's the video sorry I haven't been uploading as regularly as I normally am I just don't want to put any tweaks on here that aren't awesome so just little minor tweaks I don't tend to make videos on. I try to find something that's kind of unique. I am also working on a much bigger video that will be coming soon. I'm super excited about it. It is not jailbreak or Apple related, but it is technology related. I may post a teaser somewhere on one of my social medias, so make sure that you're following me on all of them. They are linked down in the description below. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to feed that YouTube algorithm those like buttons. If you love the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.